This has to be a dream. I was expecting your master, boy. Where is he? That must be An Nasir, the Arabian merchant Max mentioned in his notes. He is busy, but he asked me to assure you that he is interested in the Amphora. Empty promises will not feed my sons. I am here to make a deal, not to talk. How much is he willing to pay? My master will pay you whatever price you name, but he must see the Amphora beforehand. Give it to me. I will take it to him. That must be the Amphora, the ancient vase that survived the burning of Alexandria unscathed. It seems this Anasir wants to sell it on in Florence. All right. I know your master well. I've done business with him many times. You are wise to trust him. If the Amphora pleases him, he will reward you handsomely. I have to follow him. I have to know what's inside that vase. If Max was occupying himself with it, then it must contain something important. Halt! Stay right there! What? Who? Do you mean me? Do you see anyone else? Yes, I mean you, swine! Hmm... They don't seem to see me. Why? What... what did I do? You're a thief! You stole an amphora! Where is it? By Allah, my sons found it far away from here, in my homeland. It belongs to me. I'm only going to ask you once. Where is the amphora? Where did you hide it? Wherever the amphora is now, it is none of your business, infidel. Let me go! You obviously misunderstand our business. You will be more understanding once we demonstrate to you its nature first-hand. Damn, the boy with the amphora. He's gone. And Nasir is my only chance. Only he knows who he sold the amphora to. That's where the guards went with the merchant. Damn. Locked from the inside. All right, let's summarize. I'm in medieval Florence. It's nighttime, it's snowing, it's terribly cold, and it's all just a dream. But even though it appears that no one can see me in this dream, I still can't walk through. I have to find a way to discover who the merchant sold the Amphora to. The Amphora's contents seem to be part of the riddle that Max was working on. I have to know what's in it if I want to see him ever again. Locked from the inside. Hmm, no one can see me, so maybe I can manage to sneak in when they open the door. I heard something! Who's there? A citizen! I, uh, need help. Answer me! Who's there? Hello? I want to report a theft? Someone trying to play us for fools. Apparently they can't hear my voice. Keep my skin. She looks starving. Find where it is, thank you. Full of salt. Hmm. I'll take some with me. I'll climb back down. The salt is thawing the ice. Insert clever scientific description here. Pretty exhausting. I won't do that to myself again. I already have enough for five heart attacks.
I can't reach it. A bronze statue. I'd have to climb back down first. I'll climb back down. The net is off, but unfortunately, the barrels and crates are empty. One quick blow. Sweet John the Baptist! What was that? Some barrels rolled up against the window. Can't see how. Clear the barrels away and shut the window so we don't freeze to death in here. See, my commandant. I love it when a plan works out. Talk! Who did you sell the amphora to? Perhaps if I were to twist off one of your thumbs? Or would the slow perforation of the skin on your face make you more talkative? Why are you doing this, Sahib? I have done nothing wrong. The amphora is mine. You're a liar! A common thief! And do you know what we do with thieves? No! You must believe me! I am innocent! Please let me go! We are not playing games with you, dog. When we come back, we will loosen that forked tongue of yours. He is nearly broken. Let him stew a while longer. Soon he will see. You have to pity the poor bastard. It's not his fault someone wanted that amphora badly enough to pay us. So it. So long as those cloaked freaks get what they want and pay us our due, then we kill the Arab. He suffered a fatal crisis of conscience during questioning. Too bad. No witnesses. He didn't do anything wrong, and he won't last much longer. If he gives up the identity of the Amphora's buyer, it'll be out of my reach for good. I have to hurry. If what I heard was right, then he still due payment for the Amphora. I'll free him and follow him to the buyer. Maybe then I can find out what's inside this thing that's so important. I nailed some cloth over the window. That should keep the cold out tonight. I'll bring in the handyman tomorrow. Right. I need to report to our employers. Perhaps I can negotiate some more... thinking time for our guest. I will question him personally later on. Understood? Si, signore. One less to worry about, but I still need to deal with the other two. 